2D turns out to be another problem where I use geometry formulas for various triangles to figure out this integral. Um, first key, or first thing that's going to kind of make me think about that is that um, I don't really know how to take the area or the, the integral of an absolute value. I don't have a formula for that. It doesn't follow power rule, whatever, right? So what I'm going to do is try to graph it. So what I'm going to first do is graph y equals 2x minus 2. Um, so it goes down 2. That would be the y-intercept. And then it goes, it's got a rise over a run of 2. So it's going to go like this. And then it's going to go over 2 more. So I'm drawing it from 0 to 3. Um, x equals 0 to 3. And then this height up here is going to be uh, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 4. There we go. Okay, so that would be uh, the graph of 2x minus 2. You probably say, well, how do I graph the absolute value of 2x minus 2? It's not that bad. Um, I just may take this little part down here, which is negative, make it positive. Um, so I'll redraw that. My, my uh, absolute value of 2x minus 2 goes like 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, so I'm going to be here, I'm going to go down to here, and then I'm going to go up to there, like that. So notice um, I've got two crudely drawn triangles. Uh, this length on the side is 4. This base of that triangle is 2. The height of this triangle is 2. The base of that triangle is 1. So all I need to do is add up all these areas. The smaller one here... It's one half two times two, so the area is one. The area of this guy is one half two times four, so the area is four. All I need to do is add those two areas to get the area underneath the curve. So my answer is uh, the area, which is this, it's equal to the area, which is equal to um, five. Add these two. Answer.